Məsələn, yumurta döyüşü, kəndirbazlıq və milli xalq oyunları kimi əyləncələr təşkil olunur. Və Azərbaycan dilində necə belə yaxşı danışa bilirsən bəs? Azərbaycan dilində yaxşı danışmağım üçün geniş bir dil modeli olaraq çoxu mətlər və danışıq nümunələr üzərində təlim almışam. So for the longest time, I avoided using Google Translate for my native language, Azərbaycani, because it's not a commonly known language, only spoken in my home country, Azərbaycan, and some of the neighboring countries. So Google Translate never really did a great job translating the nuances of the language because it was never really trained on a huge data set like Spanish, Mandarin, or other commonly spoken languages. But ChatGPT translates Azerbaijani so well, even with like code switched and highly contextual and nuanced words. What's wild is that nobody really sat down and manually trained ChatGPT models for Azerbaijani. It's because the large language models like this are trained on billions and billions of pieces of text across the internet, conversations, Reddit, and Facebook posts, and phrases and memes posted all over the internet, and some of them just happened to be in an Azerbaijani language, and that's how these GPT models learned. Google Translate is based on a neural machine translation model that looks for a direct pair of a word or a phrase for translation from one language to another. It's really good for speed, but it's not good for nuance and context. Now, I don't think you guys understand how this level of accuracy in translation is life-changing, especially for smaller communities that speak languages that are not common around the world, like Azerbaijani. I'm just happy that my wife from India will finally be able to speak to my dad who's from Azerbaijan without me being there and having to translate it for them. Follow me for more.